Well, some good news to share. NFL player Devon Still says his young daughter may be cancer free. Little Leah Still caught national attention for her fight against a rare form of pediatric cancer and the social media campaign that followed. You might remember it, Leah Strong. Well, here's CBS 4's Rhiannon Alley with her story. <laughs> Four-year-old Leah Strong has a big reason to celebrate. It's hard to tell based on her happy disposition in this video, but Leah was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma last June. She's gone through nine months of treatment, documented every step of the way on her dad, NFL star Devin Still's Instagram account. And this picture posted last night is worth at least a thousand words, flexing their muscles and their smiles as they get the best news of their lives. A scan Tuesday night showed no signs of the disease, meaning Leah may be cancer free. I'm ready for today. You ready for today? It's been a hard road for this little girl. In November, we watched her travel from her treatment center in Philly to Cincinnati to watch her dad play for the first time since she'd been diagnosed. And little Leah stole the spotlight during that game in November. Thank you, Leah and Devin. The brave four-year-old girl stood in front of thousands of Bengals fans and presented a check for more than $1.3 million to help fight pediatric cancer. The money was raised by the sales of her father's jersey. Her dad, a Bengals defensive tackle, watched proudly. Yeah, I haven't seen my daughter smile as much in a long time. But Leah still had months of treatment ahead of her. Her dad helping spread the word and fans showing their support along the way. A lot of the credit goes to her because what I'm doing is easy, just talking about her story. What she's doing is the hard part. The courage that she showed me is nothing short of inspirational. She is such an inspiration. Really, they both are. The family is still waiting for the results of more tests, but say they and Leah's doctors are very encouraged by the latest scans. Rhiannon Alley, CBS4 News.